I have two major updates coming out of Washington, D.C. that both involve lies surrounding the January 6th Capitol breach. Stephen DeAntuno, who used to be the head of the Detroit FBI uh, and participated in trying to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer, was moved over to the Washington, D.C. FBI office before the January 6th situation. He has put in, he has put out an internal memo within the FBI saying that there were so many FBI operatives and informants in the Trump crowd on January 6th that we've lost track of the number. He then is asking people to come forward and identify themselves so that they can get a head count. On top of that, he admitted that the FBI uh, informants were out of control. They believed that they were supposed to incite riot and violence and go into the Capitol. So there are FBI people that went into the Capitol and went with the flow of the energy that day in order to get more people to infiltrate the, the Capitol. On top of that, Jim Jordan has subpoenaed FBI Director Christopher Wray and said, listen, you guys have been lying, you've been misdirecting us, and you've been purposely not answering these questions. And now we have in writing from top FBI officials that you were infiltrating the January 6 crowds, and you've now been subpoenaed to testify before our committee. On top of that, this morning, the former Capitol Police Chief, Stephen Sund, came forward and said that the National Guard was offered, 10,000 National Guards were offered from President Donald Trump. He also said that Nancy Pelosi has been lying and untruthful about many of the January 6 details, including the fact that they spoke three times about capital security and the breach, and she lied about all three times. Now, Tucker Carlson tried to expose this, but nobody from the center or left-leaning media would cover it. They said it was conspiracy theory, and now it's being proven to be absolutely true. So people are now saying that former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi must be subpoenaed and brought in to testify against these allegations. But we're learning so much about the January 6th situation and just how much the FBI was involved that day.